Hey there YouTube, what's up? Today I got another fantastic, absolutely ball busting food cooking review video. This one is gonna be the one that all you guys have been asking for all these years. That's right, I'm finally cooking. This right here is the IMAX of steaks. We got us some Wagyu. It's a, it's a really high quality Wagyu steak. It's from Kyushu. It's gonna be some good shit. First, these lentils been soaking for a really long time. Get this burner going. Me thinking a lot recently about kind of why it's so important to cook actually, right? Food is a thing that on one end it provides sort of sustenance. But on the other, it's also one of the few things that you can consistently have to look forward to during times like this. You know, even when things get tough, it's you don't want to, like, give up on having, you know, like, you're taking away one of the simplest pleasures in life. Let's just, you know, let's just feel how, oh yeah, that's starting to warm up a little bit. Uh, so this can, I inherited this can when my friend left Japan. Uh, shout out to my man Toby. The problem is, I can't figure out what the expiry date on these beans is, and I have no idea when he bought them. Oh, okay. So, I mean, whatever. Cans, cans are probably safe, right? All right, let's get that, uh, let's dribble out some of that water. Oh, uh, that's some bean juice. That's gonna go real nicely with the, uh, the Wagyu steak. Carefully bring the water. And we'll spill the water. Mix your beans into the. This helps you develop the consistency of the beans. And presto, this baby, doesn't that just look incredible? If you know better than me, and I fucked up real big time there, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Beans, we've got this okra, and finally, we have a little bit of meat to kind of tie it all together. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. It's been uh, cooking for about maybe 25 minutes, just enough for you know the beans to get soft and the meat to get firm. All right, let's, uh, let's try a bite of this. Mm. <coughs> so, what did we learn today? I guess the biggest thing we've learned is that we should probably add some more spices. Because, um, in this case, the strongest flavor is chili powder. So as you can see here, the meat came out really... So before, when I pulled it off the pan, it was a little bit soft, kind of squishy. You know, it didn't really have all that much good flavor. But this one, most of the fat's been cooked out. And it's now almost got a, a, a Laffy Taffy chewing gum sort of consistency. So that really goes a long way to making it just feel absolutely delicious. This would probably be better served if we'd added a little bit more rosemary or thyme instead of garam masala.